This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome you here to the Sister Karen Court here on the campus of St. Vincent Pilate and the Battle of the Cats here on the Dream. That was Martin Luther King's birthday. The St. Francis Panthers, the Cat in the Black at 20 and 3. And a record of 7 and 1 in the MIAE Red Division. As Pilate gets it, record of 9 and 9, four straight wins, and fourth in the Red Division. Huge matchup here for both teams today. Inside is on tune, and he puts the two in to start off for St. Francis Pilate. St. Francis coming off the win against Simeon on their last go. Toes up and in, and he's shooting up here. Jordan Toes at the line, coming up to shoot two. St. Francis, as we're taping this busy week for them. And they will start with this game as we tape on Monday. Wednesday, by the time this game will be up, they will be playing Goretti. And then this coming Saturday, a big matchup against uh, Polly at Towson. What a huge matchup that's going to be. And, um, it's, been a, it's going to be a busy week for them. Still matches with Boyce Latin and Mount St. Joe's, the rematch. This time up in Irving. So we are tied at two, as Jordan told his both beef roast. I think both schools are being hospitable here to the Dice Learning Network. Definitely appreciate it. Lost a handle. Murphy gets the steal. And back over to Rajir Jones. He brings it up the court. Jones. Over to Murphy. Murphy. And he walks. Ball back to uh, Pilate. Both teams ain't Panthers, so we're not going to mention that too much in the telecast today. If we do, we will do it by color. Nice. Blunt brings it up. It's had a magnificent season so far. The St. Francis Pilate. Pick City by the ace. And here he comes. Back over the to toes. Kicks it over. Jones wide open for three. Hits it. The senior going to Chicago State drops the three in and puts in a 5-2 lead for the Black Panthers of St. Francis. That fakes. Kicks back over. Blunt inside. Blocked temporarily by the ace. Rebound by Murphy and then over to Jordan Toe. Toes back over to Baldwin. Ace for three. Hits the back on miss. And the rebound over. I said Olsen Still by West. West had one of his best games against Simeon on Saturday. Tried the alley oop. Murphy gets it instead off the glass. Miss. Rebound by the ace. That one tipped and missed. Murphy again didn't get it. Back back over to Ortoon. And then kicks it back over to Blunt. McNair for three. Spins out. And he's going to be shooting some. Man. About as good of a shot you're gonna see go. It just didn't go in. Do a apologize for the mic work as Blunt will inbound out of bounds. Thought it was a shooting foul. It's not. Ocean Ace with it. Takes it back over to McNair. Jumper by Ortoon. He hits again. Ortoon with the first four points for the Blue Panthers. And there's a one point lead for St. Francis. Huge matchup seating wise in MIA conference playoffs. Looming large, about a month away now. Screen, the ace, shoots. That one tipped and missed. Offense rebound to Murphy. He puts it back in. 7-4 game. That's what you want to see. Osanese almost out of backcourt. Able to get through he, under his legs. A tip off a Francis player and the ball's going to stick and stay with Pilate on their end of the court. Mars out here with you on this uh, at the King birthday as we taping. We do thank you for watching the Dice Network. Subscribe now. 
Check out the links that's in our videos as well. Oceanese didn't get it. Rashir Jones does the rebound, that is, for St. Francis. And here comes the ace again. Balling. Jones. Pull up. Spin out. Back over to Blunt. Here, yeah, over to Ortoon. He's got the six points so far for Bilotti. 7 6 game. Here comes the ace. Gets over to Rashir Jones. Jones fakes a shot. Gets over to West. West back over to Baldwin. Inside to Murphy. The senior captain. Let's see what he does here. Murphy inside off the glass and in. Nice strong move over Malloy. 9 6 game. Blunt. Ocean Ace. Shot clock at 16. It's Blunt guarded by Baldwin. Switch now. Murphy's had him briefly. Ocean Ace. Or tune inside to Malloy. Malloy blocked by Murphy, but he's fine. Murphy picks up his first. So Malloy at the line shoots the first and hits. Second shot here. Got that one. So got them both. One point lead still for St. Francis. And Jones back over to the ace again. Inside West. That one tip, he gets his own rebound back and puts the score in. 11 to 8 affair. Drive by Blunt, night dish, Malloy, couldn't get the finish. Still has the ball, inside it foul finally. And he's coming up to shoot too. So Malloy at the line here, He's trying to again cut the lead within one. It's not been a big margin so far for either team as Malloy's not led yet. Actually, they did lead early, 2 nothing. excuse me. It was not long though, so I didn't remember it. That's the first shot goes, second shot here at the line. That one goes. So both of them goes in, it's 11-10 game. Roger Jones is with it. Back over to the ace. Baldwin. Jones. Inside. Baldwin. Spins it in. And run. The big senior getting it in there. And St. Francis with the free throw attempt. They hit it. We got the biggest margin so far in the game. That one missed. Rebound to O'Toole. Ball back up to Pilate. Back over to Blunt. O'Toole. Back over to Blunt. O'Toole. Pick and roll. But it wasn't there. Jordan Toes now has it. Toes for three. Gets it in. 16 to 10. St. Francis up six. The biggest margin. That was a that was a real close. 10 second call there. Blunt brings it. Inside. Otoon puts it up. Missed it. Tried to get it over West. Otoon gets his own rebound back and scores with it. Ortoon has had a magnificent first quarter. He's had eight so far, but 12 points on the board for Pilate. Rashid Jones. Back over to the ace. And over to Jordan Toes. 
inside the West. High in the mess, O'Toole smothers the rebound. Blunt brings it up for the Blue Cats. Oh, Blunt blocked away by West, but Ortonez gets it. And front and miss, he gets his own rebound back. Ortoon all by his lonesome. That one tipped and missed. Right here, Jones. It's foul. Yes. Third team foul against Pilates. comes the ace back over to Rashia Jones. Jones off the screen back over swings over the toes inside. West went backwards almost he gives it up to ace off the screen. Here comes the three bomb and it hits. Hit me by Adrian Baldwin. 19-12 game as the first quarter is coming to a close. Carter. McNair. Back over to Blunt. Blunt. Blunt drives. Kicks it back. Inside. Swings it over. McNair for three. That one's top miss. 17 seconds left here in the court. The ace brings it up. 10, 9, 8, 7. The ace cuts the lane. Tried to float her. West, offensive rebound, missed it high off the glass. Baldwin, can he get it in at the buzzer? No. So after one, St. Francis up by 7, 19 to 12. Here on the Guys for the Network. Again, we thank you for joining us. Check out previous action, as well as check us out on the Twitter, at Die Sporting Net, Instagram, Die Sporting Net, and of course our official now Facebook page, Die Sporting Network. Check that out. We will usually try on each platform at least to have links up on each thing when it comes out. We we'll try to have a gonna have a little thing for you as well, Instagram soon. So you can check that out as well, right here on the Die Sporting Network. We're bringing it to you. You're home to sports action here in the Baltimore metro area. Second quarter about to get going here. I'll take you back to game action. St. Francis will get the ball back first here to start the quarter. Quarter has St. Francis in control of it. They was down two nothing very early in the game, but then since then they have ready to control the pace of the game. It's been a 19 year pretty much 10 run since that point. The freshman, Carlos Alexander, offensive foul against Jaquan Busby. 14 foul against St. Francis. As Carter will inbound the bow now for Pilate. Bring it up to Blunt now. Ocean Ace. Back over, Blunt. Crossover dribble. Fakes it. Nice dish to Malloy, and he puts it in for two. Oh. Alexander back over to the ace. Baldwin. 19 14 game. Jones. Alexander. Alexander back over. Busby to the ace. Baldwin pulls up. Front end miss. 
That one's not there. Got the outlet, shoots back McNair for three. That one tipped and missed. And Alexander with the basketball. Ooh, made himself fall. Jones for three, high. Bogdan with the rebound. Looking to go inside, high off the glass, no good. Rebound there, over the corner. Back to Blunt now. Blunt from downtown, hits it. Foot was on the line, long distance. So they changed the score. I thought it was a three, but that foot, that left foot might have been on the line. Alexander, Buster, ace. Ball went inside. And one! Got the basket and one. Six oh five left. Twenty one sixteen affair here for St. Francis. And one didn't go in. It was all right. Six minutes left there in the half. Again, it's a five point advantage here for St. Francis. Battle of the Panthers here on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday as we're taping. Carter. Looking for Smith inside and he turned it over. Busby. Got his arms in there. Was able to get that steal. The ace. Spin move by Toes. Back over to West. West trying to make it happen. He's coming out to see the paper. One missed there for West. Check out the Flex Zone's newest spinoff show, Goofy Central. Durante Hurd and host Byron Dixon. And check out the first four episodes now of Goofy Central on the YouTube page of the Flex Zone and on the, the Flex Zone's Facebook page. The line between Goofy and Great. Make sure you're not on the wrong side of it. 520 here left. Carter. Oh, that, oh, that should have been, oh, yes, yes, no doubt. No doubt about it. That was definitely a three-second call, no doubt. So Alexander way around the ball. And then back over to the ace. 5-10 here left in the hand. Again, a six-point lead. Ball one. He pick, got picked off. Here comes Blunt. Blunt's all alone. Blunt lays it in and counted it one more. Who's play there? Who's play by the senior guard? Three-point play for front and miss. Carter with the rebound. And I think St. Francis should get it back. They will. Could have went the other way, but Carter touched it as it was going out of bounds again. And it cost Pilate the possession. Alexander now with it. Comes up. Kicks back. Oh, Busby lost it out of bounds. So the ball back to the Blue Cats of St. Vincent Pilate. Blunt with it. Brings it up. Blunt. Off the dribble. Ocean Ace. Inside. Smith. He walked. No doubt about that. 
And again, the ball back to St. Francis. So the last couple of sessions for uh, Pilate, it's not been kind to them, is it? Then that was a warning on Pilates' bench. Back to game action. Alexander. Jones. Pull up jumper, no good. Back over to Ocean Ace. Ocean Ace trying to get room. And Stanton was all on him. Blunt. Off the screen from Smith. Offensive foul. Smith's hands is moving. And he got caught. And again. Alexander back over to Stanton. Stanton drives and a blocking foul. So, St. Francis at the line shooting a one and one. Two more and uh, Pilate will be doing the same, but right now it's St. Francis time to shoot the one and one. First shot, spin down. So the rebound to Otoon. Now Oaks bringing it out. Oaks back over to Ocean Ace. Ocean Ace to McNair. And there's been silence so far in the game. See what happens from that. Ocean Ace. Shot clock at 12. Ocean A's off the screen. Oaks, McNair. McNair drive the baseline and it spin out on him. Good look, but it just spin out. Alexander. Rashid Jones, Baldwin. He lost it out of bounds. Gainer has still been close in the violence here. 22 18 game. Inside, that's a shot from Ocean A. He hits! Hits from downtown, low. And it's a one point game. Here comes the ace, back over to Alexander. Alexander back over to Baldwin. Inside the West. West posting up. Spin move. A little kiss on the side. And a three point lead again for St. Francis. 16 foul. Smith. O'Toon. Back over to Smith. Actually, that's Carter, excuse me. He got his own rebound back. Couldn't finish it. Baldwin. Up the court to Stanton. Stanton inside. He's coming up to shoot him. First shot, front and miss. Second shot goes. Four point game. Oaks. Behind his back.
Oates. And off this. Three seconds. One fifty-three left here and a half. Technical foul against Pilate. Coach Pilate was tripping pretty good to the referee, and the ref had quite enough of it as that one goes in. Second shot in there. Lead back to six for St. Francis. Russia Jones inbounds over to Alexander. Alexander back over to the ace. Inside, West back over to Baldwin. So Carlos Alexander back over to, to the ace. Rashia Jones. Alexander, 13 on the shot clock. He's driving, kicks it back. Rashia Jones for three hits. Huge five point swing there for the Panthers of St. Francis. And they have their biggest lead at nine because of it. Oaks, kicks. Lattimore, almost lost it on the deck. Carter with the Euro step, and he gets it in. 30-23, right at the minute mark of the first half. Here comes the ace, drives to the hoop, and he's coming up to shoot two. Adrian Baldwin. Tyler the junior, kind of getting a lot of offers. Getting more offers than you at the stock market trying to sell a stock. And it's the ace at the line here. Hit them very too good. Technical free throws. The person spins out here at the regular line. Second shot here. That'll put St. Francis up seven if it hits. And it ah, does not. Foul. Against St. Francis, Stanton. Sophomore with the foul. So Carter's coming back on this end to shoot the one and one. Both teams are in at least one and one. Pilate has over the foul limit. St. Francis is shooting two the rest of the way for the next five, 52.4 and a half. First shot. Got it. Second shot. Front end miss. Stanton with the rebound. So a six point game here as Carlos Alexander brings it up. Back over. Last year Jones. Back over to the ace. And Alexander. Back to Jones. Back to the ace. Shot clock, game clock. About a 16 second difference between them. Baldwin fakes. Pulls up for three. Hits the back on. Huge offensive rebound by Stanton. Back over to Alexander. Shot clock is off. St. Francis looking to take the final shot of the half. Alexander. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stand for three in the corner. That one missed. Offensive rebound to West. Push it back up. No good. The top, no good. The last one in by Stanton. It's saying it should go. It should go, and it will. It will go. They did count it. So at the half, 32 24 lead for St. Francis here at St. Francis. Malai trying to avenge a loss. From a year ago, right here in this building. We'll be back with the second half here on the Diasway Network. Stick and stay. 
second half about to get underway. Tomorrow's tie here with you once again. Here on the Ice Money Network, St. Francis Pilati. Here down by eight against St. Francis. Fortune didn't do a lot in the second quarter. Let's see if that changes now. That one's shot McNair. That one missed. Had it everywhere. Ball should stay with Pilati. It will. So the ball back over to the Blue Panthers. Airmail over to Old Nace. Back comes Blunt. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Over to Ocean Ace. Blunt swings it. McNair swings it. Malloy back over to Ortoon. McNair kicks it, shoots it. Ortoon hits it. And that's like that. At least cut the five. The ace swings over to Jones inside the West. West. Off the glass, miss high. The ball should stay to St. Francis. So toes are inbound. Last year Jones, back over to the ace. The ace drives, lays it in with ease. 34-27. As Ortoon. Gave it up here to Blunt. Blunt. Back over. McNair. Coordinates. Uh oh. Inside. Malloy. Missed it high. Got his own rebound back. Fly from behind. I like Murphy's when we call for the foul. First shot didn't go. Second shot didn't go. So both of them didn't make it. St. Francis catch a break there. Murphy, so you can make up for what happened on defense. Now travel. Blunt with it. He brings it up the court. 34-27 game for St. Francis. Malloy. Latoon. McNair. No to Old Nace. Shot clock at 10. Ace. Almost had that steal. Almost had it. Blunt. 5 4. Blunt against Jones. The two seniors going at it. And a foul is called. Second team foul on St. Frank's. Yeah. 33 seconds of defense. 33 seconds of defense. Blunt. Kicks it back over for McNair. Off the screen. Blunt. And he traveled. Great defense there by St. Francis. The ball back over to the Black Panthers of St. Francis. Ace back over. Jordan Toes. Haven't seen the air show yet today. West. Ball one. Nice dish there. Toes. Back over to the ace, inside, 
West, West drives, strong move to the basket and in. Nine point lead again for St. Francis. Botoon. I go with a McNair. Almost about halfway done here in the uh, third quarter. McNair swings over to Otoon. Otoon pulls up, hits it! Bill Otoon has been uh, keeping Pilate in it. Timeout called by Pilate. Right at the 4.30 mark here of the third quarter. Check out bkd-tv.com. It looks like West Coast lives. Update out all of this one. Over the bank of the chance of game. Very busy over the weekend, as you know. <laughs> so check it out. BKD TV. That's on website with Sports Lives. And, uh, football tip. How about it? The New England Patriots. Lifetime. Tom Brady's been in the Super Bowl. Him and Bill Belichick together. Belichick's been in there many times. We met Super Bowl 36 is the uh, Los Angeles Rams this time, not the St. Louis Rams. Kind of where the this period of dominance started for the Patriots. And the great Brooklyn. And, and game should be in a couple weeks. On Super Bowl Sunday, by the way, we'll be taping a huge one in the MIA A Conference. By that time, it could be the battle of the two best teams in the MIA A Conference between Boys Latin and St. Francis. And that's Super Bowl Sunday. We're taping that for you and the guys for will be coming out later on in the week. There's the ace. Back over. Murphy back to Jones. Jones inside to Murphy. Nice entry. Blocked. Nice second chance there by Jason Murphy. Blunt. Over to O2. Malloy. Ocean Ace. Off of the foot of McNair. Swings it back over. Blunt fakes. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Got to do something with it. Five, four, three. Blunt inside. Got the roll. 38 31 game. Lolly still on the outside. Knocking at the door. St. Francis. Like the wind as we're taping this today. Keeping them out. Hey, son, the pull up. Hits it. 40 31. Back inside. Malloy. Malloy puts it up. And he's going to hit it. 15 foul against Jason Murphy. That's my apologies, his third team foul. Malloy hits it. So all of a sudden now is back down to a six point game. And again, these two teams matched up a year ago. In the last week of the regular season, St. Francis came down here. Lost to Pilate. Almost tapped out of bounds. Oh, wow. Ball's going to go back to St. Stay with St. Francis. Same night was uh, that great matchup last year, John Kell and Mount St. Joe's. You know, dig deep in our archives. Had a lot of McDonald's All Americans down in the ace, missed it. Murphy, nice offensive rebound. Pulling it back. Inside. Yes, sir. Eight point lead now is Murphy. Close to two in. Blunt. That's toes. O'Toole. Ocean A's. Ocean A's inside. Missed it. The ace. Grass the rebound. Over to Rashid Jones. Here comes Toes. The air show. But the layup instead. It worked too. 44 34. 10 point lead. Let's go up. Pilates trying to hold so. Well, tune. Back over to Blunt now. Blunt. 
Colson Mays back to Blount again. Off the screen. Pull up jumper. Hits it! Oh! That was cold blooded. That long distance too. 44-36. The ace, Ali, no good. Blunt, up the court, O'Toole, and he will, a foul, a foul. Inside, Oceanay's blocked from behind. And Murphy grabs the rebound right over the toes. Here comes Jordan Toes. Back to Rasha Jones for three. And that didn't go. Oh, what a... Oceanay's with the footwork to keep it in bounds. 41 seconds here in the third. And back over. Ocean Ace. Ocean Ace drives. Ortoon. Spin out. Offensive rebound goes in by Blunt. Five point game again. As we're down to seconds in the third. And the Ace. Pull up jumper. No good. Two, one, block from 75 feet. Close. It was close. So after three, St. Francis here on the road, up by five. 44 to 39. Upcoming here on the Dice Money Network, Patterson and Lake Clifton. And if you remember two years ago, we seen the upcoming party of Marvin Price. And return trip for him. After he wasn't in Baltimore City last year, back this year, and we see Lake Clifton against Michael Gray, Amon Hurt, and the Lake Clifton Bunch. And you'll see that one coming up here on the Dice Running Network. And then next week, Mount Kilmer Patterson and St. Vincent Pilate against Mount St. Joe's and Irvington. And the Dice Running Network rolls on as playoff time inches closer and closer. More regular season action coming your way as the fourth quarter. It's about to begin. We believe Pilate will get the ball to start off the quarter. Is this one, folks? Stay tuned. Another good one on our hands here today. And if he's here, actually, excuse me, St. Francis is going to get it. If you're here for the JV matchup earlier, we weren't able to sign up for that one yet, but boy, what a matchup that was. Francis Boyd falls for the first time in JV play. This Pilate team they only had one loss, so it was a very good game indeed. But we're on the frosty again at the moment, and the fourth quarter has begun. Alexander runs it up off the inbound bath from Tolls and back over to the ace. Baldwin back to West. Alexander. Back over Tolls from downtown. Hits it. Two's three. And an eight point lead again. Blunt. Swings back over. Ortoon. Ocean Ace. Pulls up. Tip and miss. The ace with the rebound. Back over to Toes. Toes looking to drive. Spin move. Ah! Little kiss and got it in. Toes the last five. And that's a 10 point lead again. 39-39. Right at the seven minute mark in this one. 
Motion ace. Tries. No good. Rebound. Back over. Here comes West. Coming in one more. Biggest lead now for St. Francis at 12 with one more point upcoming. I see it should be a free throw coming, but uh, let's see if we can claim this point. Ah, I didn't get it. Uh, commentators Jenks, you can blame me on that one. Blunt! Back up the court here for Pilate. Back over. Carter spins it in. Two shot for Pilate, keep them in it. They're still within 10. So Alexander brings it up. Drive by West. Almost turned over the ace, cleans it up. 53 41. Ocean Ace, Carter, over the block, that's a foul, 15 foul against St. Francis. <laughs> Much smaller lineup on the court now for St. Francis, he's there back in the game. Somebody got inbound the ball here for Pilate. Almost turns it over and does. Francis, St. Francis, that is, get it back. They send bounds over to Alexander. Toes, lost it off his knee, and Pilate gets it back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That should be a, I think it should be a warning definitely, mate. Malloy, Carter, trying to get it inside the old team. Foul is called. So that's the 16th foul against St. Francis. One more. Bryce will be shooting the one and one. Inside the corner, missed it high. Out of bounds, gonna go to St. Francis. Pilates bench again. It was on the coach. That'd be it as we go to the free throw line. That is it. Pilates coach has been ejected. On ejection there. St. 
Second shot for Ace. Hits. 54 41 game. Well, St. Francis gets the ball back. Alexander. Russia Jones had it. Jump ball. And such an arrow. One, two, three. Pilate. We'll get him. Come out by St. Francis Pilate. I think that's a wise one. Keep the guys calm down. See the coach get ejected. See what's, see what's going on. So at the 442 mark left in this one. It's a 54-41 game for St. Francis. Conference games, that was always player. Like I said, we will see Pilate again coming up this coming Monday. And they'll be taking on Mount St. Joe's. What a huge matchup that's gonna be. Both sides. If that changed, we will let you know as well. Via social media, so many games that day. You know, the dice were not Oakland Mills and Dundalk as well could be another possibility for us. And we're looking at that Pilate Mount St. Joe's game as the main game we'll have. We will definitely have Mount Caramon Patterson for you as we'll be having a split bill as well. So back to game action. Takes it, Malloy, back over to McNair. McNair for three. Two screen. Cuts the lead back to ten. Who's three point shot? Here comes the ace. Pulls up off the floater. That one didn't go. Rebound to Carter. Trying to get it to Blunt, he does. Pilate trying to make a push. Inside, and a foul is called. 17 foul against St. Francis. And Anthony Brock, the senior guard, is coming up to shoot. And out. Second shot in there. Nine point lead. Three fifty three left in this one. The Franks is trying to get that record at twenty one and three. Back over the toe. Jones. Shot clock at eight. Ace for three. Dagger! A dagger three by the junior guard. 57-45. Blunt. Blunt. The back door opened up for Malone and he puts it in. 2.54 left. 47-57 game. Jones. Go to the ace. Trying to get this W. Ace again. Tipped and miss. Rebound by Otoon. Pilate, time is not on their friend right now. They gotta get it going. 
Blunt. Close out for three. Hits it! And another timeout. Lapalati. So folks. We thought Ace hit the dagger, but it's not over yet. It is not over yet. 57-50 affair. Check this out. Be on the die swing network. Some of the great games we've had this year. And we'll be having a playlist as well of the uh, Baltimore Basketball Academy and the uh, Windy City Charm City uh, Showcase as well. We'll be having both of them in the same uh, window. The playlist. I should probably have a separate playlist for the two. But, um, Definitely check that out. As we are down the stretch in this one. 2.18 left. St. Francis on offense here. Get a couple hits. Game be in the back. Foul trouble, though, for St. Francis is an issue. Kalati's only committed two fouls here in the half. So that will be a concern. Kalati, if they get some stops, they can get force their way to the free throw line as we take you back to game action here. Back over to the ace, back over to Rasha Jones. Baldwin, back to Jones. Back to the ace again. Learn to set it up, Jordan Toes. Two minutes exactly left. West, Jones, back over to the ace, swings it back over, six, five, toes, drives, got to throw it up, and it's been down on him, but he's shooting two. I thought he almost hit that, it was a pretty rough shot there. First shot. In there. Eight point advantage. Second shot. In there. Both of them go. 59 50. 140 left in this one. Nine point advantage, St. Francis. Blunt pulls up, front end miss. Rebound of Asher Jones. Back over to the ace. Toes. Cross over Joe by Toes. Toes drive, gets back over to the ace. Baldwin. Stanton, no good. Wes. Wow. Well, Wes not having out of bounds, but they say all tuned in. 105 left in this one. Stanton, the ball one. Ladies, it is. The ace. Foul is called. Two shot foul. Well, actually, not two shot two. One and one. So, blind at the line. Shooting the one and one. First team foul. Um, got it. First free throw, excuse me. Got it. Second shot. Box out, rebound. Got it. One more timeout by Pilate. Nine 
10 point lead for St. Francis, 37.7 left, right at the edge mark. I'm getting that 21st win of the season for St. Francis. So again, Patterson Lake Clifton coming up here on the Dysway Network here this week. And then of course next week, as you mentioned, we will definitely be giving you Mount Carmel and Patterson. Second game, we will see. Looking like Pali, Mount St. Joe, and that could be Oakland Mills and Dundalk as well. So we will see which matchup it will be. We'll bring it to you here on the Dysway Network. Could be a good match as well. Looking at Pilate. I guess IND as well could be one. So, second wild card game, not certain as of yet. But we will let you know via social media, mainly on the Twitter at Dice for the Net and our official Facebook pages on the channel, where we will be for that second contest. Back here in the game action, no Stanton trying to wrap it up. If, uh, Stanton the toes. Then fouls issue. 23 team fouls on Roddy. Toes. And he's shooting two. Oh, oh, foul. I see the foul was, was not on the floor. First shot in there. Second shot in there too. 11 point lead. Safely to say that uh, they're in the bag. Blunt. Travel. A walk. And I think that will signal the curtains. And this one for Pilate. Had a winning streak of four. Fought finally today, but they're going to go down. St. Francis, busy week. Rolls on. Foul off the ball, I believe. It's only the 15th foul. Still got to do two more to get that uh, the one on one in effect. This game today at Goretti. This one's probably up on Wednesday. And then it's coming Saturday, the big matchup with Pat Polly. So it's a busy week. BCLMIA matchups and non conference matchup as well. No more fouls. Cut it out. Cut it out, coach. Tried to get a steal. Rashia Jones coming up to shoot two. Actually, she's going shooting a one on one. My apologies. First shot in there. Second shot. 13 point advantage. Time. Ocean A's drives. Long. Got it tapped out of bounds. 17.5 left. St. Francis going to move to 21 and 3 here on the season. Top ranked teams in the state here. That three no good. Offensive rebound to McNair. That goes in with the spin move. So that will do it. St. Francis comes down the law. Offense is one of their defeats from last year. Roll the record at 21 and 3. Pilates going to drop to 9 and 10 here on the season. And a huge divisional win here for the St. Francis Panthers here over at St. Vincent Pilates. So we say so long to you.
For now, here on the Dying Swimming Network, we will be back with you. The gang footage of Tyson and Lake Clifton. Then we'll be back with you next week. Mount Kelman, Tyson, definitely. Wild card game to come. For all of us here, I'm Demar Stein. Say so long to you. Check us out on all our social medias. Get a link as well. And we will see you down the road. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?